Here we go. Starting off CNC break number 8105. We have the cup 1617 break. And also, I asked this before, I'm gonna keep asking this, guys. Do you guys want me to do if when when we run out of six tin cup cases, do you guys want me to do two threes as a six? Or just straight up threes. And the reason I ask that is because when you're doing two, two threes and charging the same price as a six, I'm not guaranteeing you a cupcase. Do you guys like that idea? Not like it doesn't matter to you. And this is when we run out, which will be sooner, unfortunately, than later. Do you guys not care? So you have no problem with me charging the exact same price for two threes? Just so I know. We've got the 249 for the Blue Jackets, Boone Jenner. You don't? Okay. Even though there's no guaranteed case hit? Doesn't bother you? For the Devils, the 249, Steven Santini. Oh, some threes have case hits. I know that. They're phenomenal. Number 224, two color gold rookie patch auto for the wild, Joel Erickson Eck. Joel Erickson Eck. For the San Jose Sharks in Triman's Auto to 99, Joe Thornton. Joe Thornton. For the Winnipeg Jets, number 210, Quad Jersey of Buffalo and Shifley Wheeler Ealers. You'd say three? Okay. And for the Anaheim Ducks, 249, Andre Kasha. And again, I have no problems either way. It doesn't bother me. I just wondered if you guys thought differently since, to me, when you build a 16 case, you're building it on the assumption you're getting a case hit. Whereas, when you're doing two threes, you might get zero case hits. It is possible, unfortunately. Now, you might also get two. So, it can go both ways, but when you're not on the break videos, great, yeah. It can go both ways. I agree. That's the benefit of it, and then also there's a downside to it. Like, by, by sheer odds, from what I think they've built it, you should get one every two. So, by sheer odds, if you did a six, you should get one. I just didn't know if there would be kind of more of an outstanding, you know... Vote of we should only do threes or should we actually do two sixes or two threes? Sorry, 249 for the half. Shea Weber for the Islanders, wrong Islander 249. Anthony Beauvillier, Beauvillier for the Blue Jackets. Number to 65, scripted materials, Alex Wenberg. Alex Wenberg, scripted materials. For the Oilers, brilliance autograph of ESC, Paul URV. Brilliance auto. Yes, he pulled the RV. For the Blue Jackets, red rookie number to eight, Lucas Sedlick. Lucas Sedlick. And for the Boston Bruins, 249, Ray Bork. Ray Bork. So it seems like I know it wasn't many who... Uh, who helped, or sorry, not many, who helped, many who gave opinions. It seems like most of you guys are saying just do the threes. 
Some were saying it, it's still fine doing sixes, but it seemed like a couple of you guys were saying just do the threes. JL, it's basically they're just exactly like the, the sixes, but just no guaranteed taste hit. Sixes have a guaranteed taste hit in the six. Threes don't. So you can still get a case in the threes, just they're not guaranteed. 249 for the Preds, Roman Yossi. For the Boston Bruins, a 249. Danton Heenan. Rookie patch auto, Danton Heenan. I always get this guy confused, Gensel, at first look. Ooh. Number to 31. Honorable numbers, dual patch auto. For the Montreal Canadiens, Carey Price. Number to 31, Carey Price. Beautiful. Slight two colors on both swatches. For the Florida Panthers, gold rookie auto to 36, Michael Matheson. Wow, what a pack. Number 215, Cup Foundations quad jersey auto for the Islanders, John Tavares. John. Tavares. And we've got for the Habs the 249 Carey Price. No, that's a that's a right Islander. For that kind of card, that's a good Islander to get. Barzel for the RPA. Definitely Tavares for any autograph stuff. That'd be nice. Uh, it's very possible you could get uh, two Matthews or you could get nothing. My only difference, Hennessy, what I was trying to say, though, is obviously when you buy into a break to say, for example, of a cup, you know you're getting a case hit. All I'm saying is, is it fair to charge the same price for two threes when there is not a guaranteed case hit? It's almost like me saying, I'm going to take a master case of Black Diamond. I'm going to do a break of five boxes, but I'm going to mesh the two cases together. So you might get two diamonds, but you might not get a diamond. Would you guys be okay with that? It could work. Um, I don't know. I, I, would, I don't know about that, dude. Nick, I presume so, yeah. 249, Cam Ward for the Carolina Hurricanes. Cam Ward. For the Coyotes to 249. Brendan Perlini. Brendan Perlini. Ooh, nice. Numbered seven of eight. Rookie auto tag for the Penguins. Tom Kunuckle. Tom Kunuckle. That's pretty sweet. Seven of eight. For the Anaheim Ducks, number to 12, gold base auto, John Gibson. John Gibson. Wow, another solid pack. Number three of five. Cup Foundations quad patch for the Penguins, Evgeny Malkin. Out of five, Evgeny Malkin. And for the Tampa Bay Lightning 249, Stamkos. Oh, Dubnik, I don't disagree with you. Dude. I'm not on any side of the fence on this one. I could care less. All I'm saying, though, is let's take the Black Diamond analogy. If I took 10 boxes of black diamond and I jumbled them all together and I did a five box break, would you guys be okay if I charged the exact same price? Now, again, you might not get a diamond, but you also might get two. 
What I'm trying to figure out from you guys is that is that the same mentality, or do you guys have a different mentality? So that's what I'm wondering, though, Duke Nick. Is that's I'm trying to think of would you guys be more fair for random? Well, no, but that's what I'm saying. Is if we did a team select, and that's what I'm trying to compare Cup to. Is because we're taking something that's guaranteed, like a diamond, and then making it a non-guaranteed but fun. Two forty-nine for the Carolina Hurricanes, Jordan Stahl. For the Coyotes, a two forty-nine, Anthony D'Angelo, three-color rookie patch auto. I think we said middle name, right, Arbellion? Middle name. Just want to clear that one up. We've got a honorable numbers dual patch auto. Number 234 for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Austin Matthews. Dual patch auto out of 34, Austin Matthews. Well, that surely the beast. And JL, three times as rare as the rookie patch auto. I think it was all the talking about him. He had to show up. He had to show up. I'm going to get a picture of that one right after. For the Buffalo Sabres, it's 36. Brendan Gould, gold rookie auto. By the way, JL, congratulations. I'm glad that's uh, hopefully going to go into your PC. With a Zaitsev. Woo! Go Leafs, go! Zaitsev, rookie, uh, 249. And for the Vancouver Canucks, Daniel Sedin. That has always got to be a nice relief to get a nice Matthews like that. Congrats, buddy. I'm hoping, JL, you plan on keeping that. Is that PC for you? <laughs> I was going to say, I already have the Zeitz up, I think, because of you, so I'm okay. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Out of 34, be -E a beautiful card. That's exciting. Hopefully that's a good precedent for the other two black cases. Matthews is now going to start showing up everywhere. 249 for the Sharks, San Jose, uh... For the San Jose Sharks, Joe Thornton. For the San Jose Sharks, the 249 three color rookie patch out of Kevin LeBanc. I would suggest that JL, yeah. Kevin LeBanc. Wow, what a case. Numbered five of the eight rookie auto tag for the Anaheim Ducks, Brandon Montour. Did you do, Nick? Did you sell that one or keep it? Brandon Montour. For the Buffalo Sabres in Shrimus 99, Phil Housley. You still have it. Beautiful. That's awesome. For the Leafs, Nikita Zaitsev again, just in case you wanted two of them. Uh, was it six of eight? Five of eight. And for the Red Wings, 249, Henrik Zetterberg. 